Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Leo for June of 2020. In this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit as well as the Reiki energy healing to go along with it. And if you haven't been to my channel before, I just want to let you know I am an intuitive Reiki master and I help women turn their pain into power after toxic relationships. I do have a three-day free challenge coming up to better boundaries. So if you are one of those women who, you know, please like to please everybody, get walked all over, it's time to set better boundaries. So you can check that out in the description box below. And also make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos just like this one every single week. All right, let's go ahead and get into your reading. So the overall energy here is the Page of Pentacles. And that Page of Pentacles is about giving yourself opportunities. So it's time to kind of look outside of the box. It's time to start to really pay attention to your intuition and follow the guidance that you're getting and receiving, but knowing you know what that guidance is knowing how to receive it and knowing that the ego is not attacking so definitely connecting a lot more um, to your intuition to your higher self and of course the lovers comes out which is connection to the divine energy all right so in the beginning of the month we have the three of wands we have the tower card we have the wheel of fortune and we have the five of swords so the Three of Wands is all about looking to the future, but the Tower card right next to it feels like, it feels like everything is coming down on you. It feels like nothing is working out. It feels as though everything is falling away when it's supposed to be coming together. And with the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Swords, I feel as though this is what is starting to get you going. This is what is where it's gonna start to bring in these opportunities and, and offers here because with the Wheel of Fortune, it's like sometimes things have to go down. So like example for, for me, like my separation had to happen in order for me to even be sitting here doing these videos with you. If I was still stuck in my marriage, I would never be here doing this video with you. So even though that was the roughest time of my life, even though I was struggling so bad and devastated that everything fell apart in one night, um, I still look back on that and say, wow, I'm so glad that that happened because it brought me here. And that's what I'm feeling here for you. It's like you're looking towards the future, but like nothing is going the way that you wanted to. But this tower card, so whatever's falling down around you, whatever is like um, keeping you up at night, whatever this is, it's supposed to happen because it's going to make you stronger and it's going to get you going because you're tired. You're tired of this five of swords. You're tired of being stabbed in the back. You're tired of people walking away from you. It's like, I'm done with this. What, what's next? What's next? Okay. In the middle of the month here, you've got the three of pentacles. You have the magician. You have the page of swords. And then you have the six of wands. So it's like when this happens in the beginning of this month, when this happens and you get to this point of like, I'm not doing this anymore, and you start to take that power back, when you start to stand up for yourself, when you start to make the decisions that you know, um, you've know you been feeling and you've been calling to make, but you just haven't because you know maybe that ego is, is in there doubting everything and saying, no, that's never going to work out. It's trying to keep you safe. But safe is not where you are right now. If you think about that, right? Take a minute to think about that. Whatever you're going through right now, is it really safe? Is it safe? Relationships, work, family, whatever it is, like, is it really safe when you look at it? Or is there something that you can do more? You can do more. And even though it's a little bit risky in the beginning, the ultimate benefit is going to be safety. So three of pentacles, you start working at it with the magician right next to it. You are manifesting. You're starting to manifest. Once you make that decision and take that power back and start to sit in your energy and connect to the divine, you know, give yourself boundaries. Page of swords is my boundaries card. So definitely in the middle of the month, when you take my boundary course uh, or challenge, um, you're going to learn how to set those boundaries. And with the six of wands, it's like people are going to start to recognize the change. People are start st going to start to be like, oh crap, like what's happening? Because you're standing up for yourself here with the six of wands. You're recognizing yourself as not this 
not this person that, you know, like, um, can't think of the word I'm thinking of, but like, they're showing me like this kind of like they're, they're putting their hands together and it's like, please, 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 like this type of neediness, like type of like wanting to help everybody, save everybody, like um, maybe them needing you in a way, like you start to take that power back and like be like, listen, I need me first. And that's what the Six of Wands is all about. It's like stepping into that power. But that manifestation, baby, you got it there. So let's keep working at that, those manifestations because they are going to come your way as you raise your vibration. At the end of the month here, you have the Strength card. You have the Ten of Wands. You have the Seven of Pentacles. And you have the Lovers. And this is all about like it's Leo card. The Leo, like you got this. You have the strength for all of this. You are a rock star. Like, do not forget that. You are the Leo. You are the lion. Do not forget that. As a fellow Leo, I know you guys. I know you have it within you. I know sometimes people think you have it all together, but you're really falling apart inside. I get it. I totally get it. But the bottom line is this never goes away. This strength that you have, even though you don't feel it at certain times, like it's in there. So pull it out. Pull it out. You've got the Ten of Wands. So it's like, stop carrying this burden. What is burdening you? What are you holding on to? It's time to release it. It's time to let go and it's time to fly is what I'm hearing. So it's really time to open those wings and take the leap of faith and really just go after what you want. Stop playing it safe is what I'm hearing. Seven of Pentacles and the Lovers. So Seven of Pentacles, this is about, it's a, it's, this is a long-term goal. This is a long-term manifestation. This is your life you're talking about. This is your future that you're talking about. So lay down the burden and start focusing and start shifting, shifting your energy, shifting your mindset, you know, creating these boundaries. Um, and with the lover's card, to me, this is all about connection to the divine and just connecting more, getting those messages, meditation, energy healing, all of it, right? Learning your psychic abilities, which I have a course coming out starting July 1st, opening and accelerating your psychic abilities. You get to spend 21 days with me. So if this is resonating with you, you definitely want to jump in that course. All right, we're going to go do 21 days. I'm going to teach you all about connecting to the divine energy spirits on the other side. All right, and there's nothing to be afraid of with that. But it's time. It's time to let, put it down. Put it down and rise up. Like it's it's literally time for you to let it all fall away. Feel what you're going through right now. Feel the, the pain and the struggle and the frustration. Use that. Use that to um, motivate yourself to make the changes in your life that are going to put you more in alignment with yourself, more in the abundant state, right? Learn what you can learn. Learn about money. Learn about relationships. Learn about psychic abilities. Learn about your mindset. Like learn every single thing that you can learn and, and get through it all so that you can then keep going and manifest the life that you want. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do some energy healing with this. I was like, as a Leo, I was like, oh my gosh, please make it a good reading. Please, <laughs> please, we need it, right? We need this good reading this month. Um, May was a little bit of a struggle for me. You guys can let me know in the comments uh, below, but I feel like the light is shining again and things are looking up. So I hope you guys are feeling that as well. Um, so we're going to focus on really kind of the three of wands and the magician um, and the lover's card. I definitely love that combo. So really about looking towards the future and letting everything else, your past, everything that you've been through before just fade away and realize that the future is not your past. And the things that will happen in the future are not things that happened in your past. You can make those changes. So that's what we're going to focus on. So that's my intention here. Um, if you've never done this with me before, I am just going to connect the divine energy with your energy in order to release any blockages or trapped emotions, all right? So go ahead and get comfortable. The music's gonna be about two to three minutes long, but the shifts that can happen in two to three minutes is amazing, so stay with me. All right, take a deep breath in and let it out, and I will be pulling some more cards throughout this, so stay tuned for the messages. And one more time, take a deep breath in and let it out. 
here we go. Whatever, whatever thoughts come in, just let them come in and let them go out. And take a deep breath in and let it out and take another deep breath in give your body a nice little stretch and then go ahead and let that out all right we're about to have a real conversation so <laughs> get ready for this all right so the cards that came out here is the unknown card the devil and the star and we ended up with the six of pentacles at the at the um the last card this is about not knowing which to trust the devil or the angel right it's like having these two on your shoulder one's telling you something one's telling you something else and it's like you don't know what to believe i'm kind of getting emotional over this right so, because what they're showing me is that so many of us are stuck with this devil on our shoulders. This is people around you telling you that you can't do things. Um, say for instance, with me and my spiritual, spiritual business here that I have going on, it's like people told me like, you're crazy, you know, letting go of your other business and, and doing the spiritual stuff. Like in a, in the, um, you know, if we have a recession, like people aren't going to pay for that. Or if, uh, you know, people just like, you're just crazy for, for even thinking about this. People are going to judge you and like all of this stuff. And if I had listened to all of those people, I wouldn't be here right now doing this and, and helping so many women heal their lives after these toxic, abusive relationships that they've been through. So do not let people talk you out of things that you want to do, that your intuition is calling to you saying, hey, this is the road we're supposed to go, like come over here. But the devil is going to make it seem so scary, so risky, so crazy, and usually being... Um, human beings that we are we listen to this devil and we sit there and we stay in this energy of listening to what everybody else thinks even though we're being pulled this is where anxiety comes from this is um you know having other people's energy on you um sometimes like i feel like adhd comes from this as well um from an energy standpoint um but definitely like Listen to your intuition. Listen to what you're being called to do and follow it. Don't listen to everybody else and what they're saying because if it's not in alignment with you, it's not going to work. 
And even if you stay in a job because, you know, whatever you want to do is risky or if you stay in a relationship because, you know, being alone is worse than being in an abusive, toxic relationship, like we've got to change our we've got to change our mindset around that. We have to start believing and trusting in yourself, in the intuition, your higher self that already knows the path already knows why you're here on this on this earth to learn what lessons you're here that your soul needs to evolve so therefore it's like you've got to be very careful of dealing with not knowing which one to trust trust the one that feels good and let me tell you the one that feels good is going to be scary as shit it is like when your intuition calls when you get those messages and you get the callings it is scary it is like you have to step out of your comfort zone like you would not believe. And it's time to do that for you here. It's time to listen because with the Six of Pentacles that came out, this is about walking your own path. This is about thinking outside of the box. Say, for example, like on YouTube, I'm the only person that I've ever seen, and you can let me know in the comments below if, I, if this is wrong, that does tarot with energy healing in, in the tarot reading right? Because I thought outside of the box and I wanted to be different and I wanted to expose people to energy healing that have never even known about it. So these are the things that you have to do as a Leo because you've got the strength, you've got the power, you've got that connection. Like you already feel that intuition. You already see the signs around you. Now it's time for you to, to be more confident about it, to realize your worth inside and to step into your power, right because stop listening to the devil because the devil wants to keep you comfortable and i know it's crazy to think this but sometimes even the abusive relationship is comfortable because maybe we've been abused before emotionally sexually um physically like maybe we've dealt with that when we were a child so this relationship even if it's bad feels comfortable for us because it's what we're used to but it's now time to step out of that it's time for better for you leos it's time to take that power back and start to manifest that life that you want, right? This life that you look in this crystal ball and you envision having. So do an exercise for me over this month and really just write that out. Like what does that life look like? Because sometimes I've been on calls with a lot of women, they don't even know. They don't even know. They don't even know what to, like they've never even thought about what their life could possibly be if they focused on their strength and the connection with the divine in order to get them there. So just do that little exercise this month, but amazing, I'm sorry, I told you we we're about to get real. <laughs> um, so uh, definitely, so I love this for you. If you wanna join my free three day to better boundary challenge, you can find that in the description box below. Also, I have my 21 days to opening and accelerating your psychic ability so that mastering your intuition. Uh, we start on July 1st and I'm gonna be going live a lot in there in the Facebook group. Uh, it's 21 days with me. So if you are excited to kind of learn more and open up your psychic abilities, which doesn't mean that you've gotta connect to spirits all the time. You know, it's really just about opening that channel um, so that you can get messages that you need when you need them. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up also in the description and the comments below. I want to say much love to all my Leos. Um, I feel you. I hear you. Let me know what you're going through. Um, I recently just moved, uh, which was a scary move because it's a bigger house by myself with the two kids, um, but I manifested it, so I knew it was exactly what I was calling in. So definitely stand up for yourself. Start manifesting what you want out of life. And um, yeah, so make sure you hit the like button if you like this video and the energy healing, and also make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos coming out every single week and also the full moon and new moon readings. All right, much love to all of you. Stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.